this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you a really easy simple way to make a sun flare effect in Lightroom. Now you're only going to need one tool basically and that's the radial filter tool in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is select the radial tool up here and this is where you can just draw out a really nice circle here, a large, large circle. And uh, you can see the kind of effect it has. This is just the default values that I have set here. Uh, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to feather the brush all the way to 100. And so what that'll do is just make the edges really nice and soft there. So now I'm going to play with the, uh, the colors here. I'm just going to warm them up a little bit since the sun is warm. I'm going to warm those up. And I'm going to take the exposure and put it up a, a fairly good amount to right around there. I might even warm it up just a little bit more. Now I'm going to take the clarity and I'm going to bump that down a little bit so it's a little hazy right there. Just take, pack the, the dehaze a little bit down as well. And uh, that should basically do it. I might bump up the warmth just a little bit more. But that should basically do it. So that's our sun flare effect. That's basically what we're doing here. And I can just drag it around and move it uh, to, uh, to kind of position it where I want it to do. Now to sell this effect a little bit more, I'm going to play with the editing of this photo. So for this photo, I'm going to warm it up as well to right around there. I'm going to bump the exposure up, open up the shadows, contrast, or uh, clarity and contrast actually right there and vibrance so there's our new photo with our sun flare effect now I might want to move it over a little bit I'm just gonna click the radial filter click on this little handle here and move it over right around there and I'm gonna click done and now you can see the before and after here and that was the boring photo right here and this is our newly edited photo with our sun filter so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm just going to click uh, uncheck all and do the, uh, let's see, where's it at? The radio filter right there. I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to click sun flare. I want to spell it right. Flare. There you go. And I'm just going to click create. So now I'm going to go over this other photo here and kind of do the same thing. All But I'm going to use the preset here. I'm just going to click sun flare. And you can see it already puts a sun flare right there exactly where it was. I can move it around. You can even make it a little larger since this photo will probably call for it to be a little larger. And uh, there we go. And now I can uh, just edit this photo a little bit. I can warm it up as well. Back the exposure up. Contrast. Vibrance. And drag down the highlights a little bit. So there you go. Now you can see just quickly how we went from another boring photo to uh, a very nice photo, a nice edited photo with the sun flare effect. So that's it, guys. That's how, exactly how you do it. Super easy. And uh, make sure you utilize your presets to kind of keep using it for uh, more photos than just the one that you created it for. So thanks for joining me in this video, guys. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I will see you in the next one.